Hey, how you guys doing? Um, we're going to take a look at an application uh, which is Boom 3D. And uh, the reason I got this is because recently my purchase of the Personas Eris E3.5. Um, not only are they some studio monitors for um, editing video, I also wanted to use it for general purpose use, um, listening to music, Netflix, and things of that nature. So I wanted to uh, have like a system EQ uh, to enhance the sound for times that I want to use it for um, entertainment use for my own use gaming and, and things like that to improve the sound because they are rather flat uh, compared to most um, monitors because they're studio monitors so uh, I figured I'd break it down for you which I purchased um, so here we got the interface right here we're gonna go uh, try to go through it quickly now what's unique about this is it doesn't use once you purchase it it doesn't use a uh, typical um, like ID number for the uh, registration uh, you, you simply go to the website uh, make a username and password and that's how you uh, log in and uh, just showing you right here hopefully it doesn't have my information oops maybe I should have showed you that there so um, once you register and you get it up and running then you're ready to go now initially it goes through here when you first install it it goes kind of through your system to see what settings is best for you and just to show you you can select what kind of um, headphones you have either through headphones or um, luckily it has one for external speakers which I'm using right now or if you have ear uh, headphones which I also do as well I have I believe it's uh, AKG some of the uh, more expensive ones I use for podcasting you can do the, uh, set it up there as well which is nice and here it, it has my specific uh, setting for the Mac Pro which is kind of cool because it went in there and found out what kind of computer I use and uh, things of that nature and it actually sets up the EQ equalizer and it definitely does enhance my sound I noticed so that's nice as well so and here it recommends to um, there's a way you can actually turn it on and off uh, different ways here you can just simply select that it will turn boom completely off uh, for some reason if you don't want to use it and then turn it back on here it, it sets it um, it recommends that you automatically um, need to use it or not and actually this is kind of cool it has some a tutorial as well here you can um, keep it on or keep it off um, it says in case you hear audio distortion when you are connected to uh, those speakers uh, I think it recommends you keep it on but uh, normally I do so it's up to you um, which is also nice here is you can go in here and set uh, your volume, volume, volume control for different applications that are running in the background um, right now and you'll actually see this change depending on what's running at the time as you see Google Chrome just ran on right here so you can set different levels it also has 3d surround which initially I was interested in um, but I don't really use it and I'm gonna go in here uh, just to show you how it sets up now this is great if you have headphones and or just speakers which would be a uh, not actually surround sound it simulates surround sound and what's nice about it is you can go in here turn on and off speakers uh, depending on your use you also can set the bass uh, bass response um, which is nice too because I usually like quite a bit more bass in my when I'm listening as well and then the intensity of the 3d surround sound now I don't use the surround uh, 3d surround I found that it's kind of puts it like a layer that muffles the sound to me uh, I didn't really like it so normally I, I turn the surround sound off and oops let me go back in here and let me see did that turn that off okay there we go turn it off um, you also have some presets up here and most of the presets I didn't actually like as well 
I think there's a few exceptions. I think I did I like the fidelity a little bit. But uh, you can go through here and decide uh, what preset that you want to use or don't use at all. Now the equalizer, like I said, it'll set it up for your particular computer and or speakers, whether headphones or external speakers. Uh, like I said, this is the uh, part I like the best. And here you can actually change the EQ depending on the use. So you can, if your general use, you can use set up for your computer or um, if you're playing games, um, classical, um, just about a whole blevy of things, even for movies. Uh, I think there's a movie setting right here. Netflix and so forth. Most of those I don't use. Um, I think I might, uh, the, there's a few I might use, like the movie setting. But I usually like it the default. I think it sounds the best. And you can go in here and change it as well. Um, usually the default setting for your computer you can't change, I, I don't think, but you can go in here, uh, choose a preset, and then change it. And uh, in fact, we'll just go here, uh, we'll set, let's go to movie actually, just to show you what it looks like. And here um, you have your basic e uh, EQ for the movie setting. And you can actually go in here, and I think you can have up to a 31 channel EQ and you can change it, uh, to set it to your preference and uh, let me see here, you got advanced, you can turn the advanced off and you won't get as many channels and then you go to the advanced and it'll get you the uh, 31 channel equalizer which is nice. So um, that's very interesting. Uh, I'm glad they give you that choice if you uh, like that. Uh, like I said, I just usually set it at the uh, default. Before we go to the rest of the section, I am going to uh, go into preferences. Um, let me see here. Um, there's some, just a few basic settings. Um, you can turn it on when it starts up. You don't have a whole lot of choice uh, in here. I guess most of the preferences, you can actually use it to the uh, default application anyway. So you don't really need as many preferences in here, I think. Um, now, let me see what I else I need to cover. Um, what I like about this application, uh, one of the big uh, things about this is um, you go down here and it actually has an internet radio with many stations to choose from. You just click on here and there's a blevy of uh, choices. Um, if you like news, sports, uh, it's got NPR, ESPN. Um, popular music, uh, just about anything you can think of, metal, uh, which is great. And here you see I got one of the um, choices selected down here. So you can actually play this within the um, player itself, or you can actually drag and drop any uh, your playlist into the um, um, Boom 3D and use it just as a regular media player as well. Um, what's nice about this, you just click on the X to uh, cancel out and it will go to your menu bar. So you don't have to have this full screen or anything or even the application ups, but you can click on it and gain all your most relevant settings, uh, such as um, turning it on and off from right here, um, your 3D surround sound, your equalizer, which you can uh, put all your preferences in here which I like this, it's great, you can get all your most of your rele relevant settings, um, type of headphones or your speakers and where um, uh, your device, uh, sound card settings I guess, or your uh, where your audio is coming from, excuse me, and then your uh, internet radio station. Now I noticed the radio internet station doesn't seem to have quite a uh, is high quality than through like Pandora or some of the other better streaming services. Um, but um, of course, my ears aren't the best, so it's uh, for you up to for you to, to de decide that. And I think I already covered most of the settings. I'm going to check real quick just to be sure. And I think that's about it. And let's click on here. Already, yep. Um, on the most part, 
Um, if I had a choice again to buy it again, I probably wouldn't because it doesn't have enough uh, enhancement. F uh, it doesn't really, I guess, sound good, I guess, enough for me to purchase it again. And I think I did get it on sale. It wasn't much. I think it was $12. I think it's normally uh, around $20. So it does have enough uh, features to, you know, at least get my money's worth for $12. Like I said, the internet radio is a great feature. Um even over particular streaming services such as Pandora because Pandora you can't necessarily select the radio station here you can using uh, Boom 3D uh, Equalizer I think is one of the best um, features you can get some of the presets aren't very good like ambience, fidelity, um, spatial and the surround sound is is basically useless to me because it doesn't to me it doesn't enhance the sound where I like it it just kind of blankets the sound anyway now I haven't tried to be fair I haven't tried this in headphones and maybe if I tried it in headphones with these settings it would might be more worth it so I'll let you decide for yourself I don't normally wear the headphones very often except when I'm podcasting or something like that. I always use the external speakers. So uh, I might retest it and leave it in the uh, notes below to, and make that determination. And I think this is really what it was developed for anyway. It was for, for through use of headphones, earbuds, because using such a smaller speaker size, especially earbuds, you're not gonna get a uh, very good bass response, uh, 3D sound, um, mid-range it's mostly a higher end because the speakers are so small you're going to obviously get much more of a higher end um, type of sound so this is maybe perhaps this would be a better use of this program so um, let me do some testing on some headphones some earbuds and I'll probably put a response in the comments section for that so uh, thanks for watching and see you guys later